This video tutorial will show you how to use your music library. The music library contains all of the music that has been placed on a network accessible drive. If you add music to that drive, then this music will automatically appear in your library. You do not need to refresh the library. The music library can be displayed by album, artist, playlist or tracks. Scroll bars will appear on the right hand side whenever there is more than one page of music to show. Use the double arrowed scroll bars to get to the top or the bottom of the music list. Use the single arrowed buttons to scroll one row of music at a time. There is a filter bar at the top of the music library. Filter the music by letter or by word. You can also use the filter bar to filter artists or tracks. The music library will show the player when the music is playing. The keyboard is accessible from the bottom bar if it is not already displayed. When you filter by letter, the search will begin as soon as you enter a single letter. When you filter by word, the search will only start after you enter your string and then press the enter key. You can also use the filter bar to filter artists or tracks. When you filter by word, the word can appear anywhere in the album title, the artist name, or in the case of tracks, it will be anywhere in the metadata. You can also search for all of the albums by a particular artist by going to the Artist tab and then searching for a particular artist, selecting the artist and then going to the Albums button. A list of all the albums by the selected artist will be displayed. Use the clear button on the keyboard to clear the search criteria from the filter bar. The mode button on the filter bar indicates how the music will be queued to play. The add to queue means that any music that is selected will be added to the end of the current queue and it will all play sequentially. The play now indicates that any music selected will interrupt the current queue and play the selected music first and then the remainder of the queue will continue. Select the play next button to insert an album or track into the next slot on your queue. The display buttons on the right hand side indicate how you would like your music view to be presented. The tracks button displays the albums with or without the track information. When you select an album with the tracks mode on the tracks will show on the right hand side and a list of albums show on the left hand side. The album art button displays your music library with or without album art. The quality of your album art is dependent on the method used to rip and organize your music. To play an entire album, press the album button and you'll notice that the cog in the bottom bar rotates indicating that the music has been added to the queue. If the display mode is with tracks, then each time you press an album, the track information will be shown on the right hand side. It will not play the album on the first press. It will display the track information. You can then select a single track to play, and you'll notice that the cog rotates with each selection of a track. Or if you wanted to play the entire album, you would press the album again. You can view the music that is queued to play by going to the playlists area. All the music that is currently playing will be displayed under the Now Playing On tick. So the Now Playing On Music Zone has all of this music queued to play. We can now save this as a playlist by pressing the Save As New button. The keyboard will sh and we can type in using the keyboard a playlist name. When you're finished with the playlist name, press the Enter key 
and that will save the playlist with the, the name that you typed in. To update a playlist, stop what is playing and select your playlist and you'll notice that a new button appears on the top playlist bar there called update. You can now go back to your music library and you can add more music to play to that cue. You can then go to the playlists and you can delete tracks, you can move tracks up or down and then when you're finished with uh, updating that particular playlist you press the update button and it will save your changes. When you have music queued to your playlist it will repeat your playlist continuously and the button on the bottom of the player here is a random button so you can randomize the the music in the list. To create another playlist stop the existing queue move to back to your music library select the albums that you wish to play go back to the playlists and save a new playlist